welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Miriam, and this is a new thing I want to do. Uh, and from the name, well, it's interesting. So I'm going to tell you a little about it. But before then, let's catch up. Let's catch up. I do understand that this is one-sided, but I'm catching you up, okay? <laughs> So what's um first of all I'm wearing like my favorite baggy hoodie that has this message that I love so much, especially when I step out. <laughs> so you might be seeing a lot of this. It's just so comfy. I'm just um swimming in it and I love that. So anyway, that and then oh my god, the most exciting update, I shaved my head. <laughs> like completely clean like my cheek. I shaved everything off. And it feels amazing. It feels it, it feels amazing. Just yeah, it's hair, hair care has become so much less stressful, and I'm personally happy about that. So that's the update. I think that's basically it. So let me tell you about this new project, right? All my life, I'm the kind of person who just wants to try it if it's edible. And because I'm Muslim, there are things I don't eat. There are not many. But apart from that, if it's edible, I want to eat it. I want to taste it. I want to know what it tastes like. So this is how we got here. And I decided, you know what? Life is so short and there are too many things I've never tried. And I want to try them. And I want to document it because hopefully it'll inspire y'all to go forth and explore. Like we have taste buds, use them you know ex expand their capabilities <laughs> be adventurous so i'm gonna be trying so many different things that i've never tried before and i'm gonna tell you what it tastes like what they feel like what the texture is whatever i just want to inspire you to eat more things than just beef and chicken and fish there's so much out there now i know you're already looking at my plate and you're like oh my god no oh my god yes <laughs> Oh, I didn't give you this update. This is not how I, um, I don't like stress. So I just wear these and I keep them on forever. I sleep with them, I bathe with them. But this is something I used to do when I was much younger. But I would buy a different earring that has, you know, this long and then I would wear a simpler one here. This time it's not one. This is three that I put here and then I put one here. I think I like the balance, don't you? <laughs> So today, what I'm gonna eat, what I'm gonna be eating, I'm gonna be trying for you to see is, let me just bend it down a little so you see. Worms. Yes, you heard me right. These are worms. I'm gonna get you a better picture, a close up of those. But yeah, basically these are worms. Not just any worms, these are silk worms. You know what silk worms do, right? They make all that lavish silk. And so I'm gonna try them today. I'm gonna, I'm hoping they taste silky in my mouth too. Stay with me. Uh, these are not medication, they used to be. <laughs> these are medication bottles. But this is my Yaji, that's you know, powdered pepper and seasoning. And this is my ground seasoning cubes in powder form. The holy duo. So before i taste it these i'm gonna uh i want to tell you i want to get all nerdy i should be wearing a lab coat for this i want to get all nerdy and tell you the um scientific name <laughs> so here we go so oh there's bomb in the name okay i hope that it will be bomb on my tongue too so the name of the silk worms the scientific name is bombix Mari pupae, okay. Bomix Mari pupae. I hope you will taste great today <laughs> and always. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so that's it. We will be trying the Bomix Mari pupae. <laughs> so please stay with me. Um, so let me just about how this was cooked. Now, for those of you who have tried termites, if you notice, they have their own oil. Usually when you cook them, you don't have to put any oil. So this was cooked without oil, like just dry heat. So basically it was, uh, what would you call that? Roasting grill? So yeah, I'm just, it looks uh, shiny, but again, usually um, they have their own oil. So, okay, let me get a fat juicy one. So this is not seasoned, no salt, anything. I'm gonna try that first because I really wanna get into the flavor. Like I really wanna feel it. 
before I add my favorites, of course. So let me get a fat, juicy one, because I want to get in there. Um, you're the lucky one. So let me show it to you. A little piece of Bomex Marie Poupée <laughs> for today. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, don't get, um, don't think I'm, I'm casting a spell on it or maybe I'm, I'm, I'm praying to God not to die. No, it's just, it's so warm. I'm not gonna die. Uh, I'm Muslim and we pray before we eat. So I'm gonna do that again because I've been talking. Okay, so first of all, it had a bit more body than I expected. Cause it's so, it looks big, but it's so light. So like I got more in it than I thought there would be, which is good. So let me tell you what I'm getting. And by the way, I made sure that I'm hungry. Like I just woke up from sleep not too long ago. Cause I don't want to eat this while I'm already full. Like I want to really be hungry for it just so that I feel everything. So if you've ever eaten termites, it's quite similar. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed because I thought it would taste different. And deal breaker is not silky at all. <laughs> they might make silk, but they do not taste silky. It's very light termites, if you've had termites before. This is weird, but not so weird actually. I know a lot of people are thinking, oh my God, what is she eating? Oh my God, you've probably eaten it too. Yes, a lot of these bugs and insects are used in pharmaceuticals <laughs> in the tablets that you take. So this is an interesting thing. I'm getting a little aftertaste. That's like a pill. That's like medication. Now it totally makes sense that they use bugs and parts of bugs and, and whatever, nectar from bugs to make medication. I'm getting a little aftertaste like I just swallowed a pill. Yeah, definitely. So if they do use it for medication, like it never crossed my mind like that. Ooh, I'm trying to get all close and look at the body. I see something like a head, yeah. Okay. Not that it matters if I see that or not. I eat like goat and cow head and eyes and tongue. So even if it's looking in my face. So uh, this is a little, what you gonna call it? Um, seasoning, seasoning cubes turned into powder, ground. So this should, uh, the pieces are too big to, okay, let's see. I need more. I need more to really feel a difference. Um, get in there, get in there, come on. Okay, yeah. oh yeah. Oh. Seasoning makes, it, makes everything better, yes. That's a good one. That's a fat one, like it has so much flesh in it. <laughs> I'm gonna try it with Yaji. You know Yaji, right? Oh, it smells so good. It's, it's so much garlic in it. So for the Yaji, because I don't want to waste my Yaji, I'm gonna just dip it in there. I think I need a little more. Cause the thing is, they're so light. I end up expecting them to be so light in like texture of my tongue. But then they just surprise you. They're so light, but there's flesh inside. So that's why whatever seasoning I put is like never enough. More. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling that. Yes. You know what? I'll go for a darker one because I just want to see if, ooh. <laughs> My ear. It's good. I swear it's good. My ear is telling me so. My ear is still itching. You want to eat something so good? I swear I'm not kidding. Okay, so I just tried the darker one. 
and it's not like I'm expecting it to taste different, but I'm just wondering if it might taste different because maybe it's a little burnt. I like food that's a little burnt. It does taste a little different. I think the darker ones are a little burnt. They're probably smaller or they were left in the fire for longer. And they taste a little burnt and it gives it a little kick. So yes, um, this is a nice snack which I will be finishing before in a few minutes I go down for breakfast. <laughs> uh, so honestly, I'm not gonna say the taste was bomb because you know, bomb is a lot. It wasn't bomb on my um, tongue. But the texture is because of how it was made, right? It's not exactly like if you maybe boiled it. It was cooked in a dry heat, so it's crispy. Also, because it's so light, I expected to just feel nothing in it. But there's like, you feel the flesh, even though it's dry. So, <clears throat> this was nice. And I really hope that you try it. What I want to try, but not but not but not made in dry heat like i want to make all juices and stuff make like shrimp and i feel that it's gonna taste not taste like shrimp but i feel like the texture is definitely gonna be like shrimp it's maggots it's maggots i want to try maggots but you know what i'm just beginning this journey i'm pretty sure i might get to try maggots now you want to tune in for the next episode because i promise you I promise you, you are not ready for what I'm gonna eat next. <laughs> you are not ready, but I have something huge planned. I just hope that I'm able to obtain it in time to make the next episode and it's gonna blow your mind. So thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that this is not just you watching and going, ew, 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 what? You already eat it in medicine form, okay? It's protein, it's very clean protein. I just really want you to expand the possibilities for your taste buds. Do it, 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 do it. Until next time, do not stick to just beef and chicken and and fish. Don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint your taste buds. Okay, so go on and have a great day. I'm gonna do the same. You see how my mouth is watering? I'm gonna do the same uh, after I finish all of this. <laughs>